Now we can get familiar with default framing configuration user interface. Let's go to a framing configuration in Wall Plus menu, press it. Framing configuration user interface is divided into three parts. Top pane controls configuration types and their versions. There are four configuration types in Wall Plus horizontal siding, vertical nailer, wood frame, and wood log for log wall framing. You can save as many configurations for each type and use them in different wall types with walling. In Bane, you can browse the different settings of chosen configuration types. When you browse through the structure of right pane changes, in which you can change different configurations for that part of frame. For example, if we select common settings, we can change the default parameters for all common parts of all other settings of the configuration type, such as structural framing type, if that is a wall frame panel or not, element mark definitions, if you want to cut framing elements or not to cut, some basic settings. Let's browse and change some settings. Let's make two top plates for wall framing. Go to wall framing, go to top plate, and just make the number two. Let's change header for windows. Go to window framing, header, and find the header you want to use. Then let's change spacing of door cripple studs. Go to door framing, other studs, and let's make it 500. Let's change our connection type and let's use the automatic offset noggings. We can save this configuration. As different version and let's press OK. Let's go to walling and set the safe configuration for exterior wall type. Find the wall type and change configuration to that just we created. Press OK. Now we can update our wall framings to default configuration by selecting the wall framing which we want to modify. For example this one. Go to wall plus and press change wall framing to default. We can see the changes. All newly created wall framings will be with that configuration we've just created. And this configuration may be used in other projects. And that's the end of this tutorial.